Welcome back to the three months of Modal Logic sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic logic looking at axiom K in doxastic and epistemic logics. So let's take a look. Well, we may remember axiom K from a number of our previous modal logics. If you've watched my original video on the basics of modal logic or series on deontic modal logic or temporal modal logic, you'll know that axiom K looks a little something like this. Basically, we take our strong modal operator, whatever that is, either necessary, obligatory, will always be, or has always been, and we put it over a conditional, and we show that that implies the necessary operator or the strong operator over the first part of the conditional implies the strong operator over the second part of the conditional. Hopefully that makes sense. So it should be pretty clear what axiom K is going to look like for both knowledge and belief, but we'll state it clearly here. So ex epistemic axiom K looks like S knows that P implies Q implies that S knows that P implies S knows that Q. And the doxastic axiom K is going to be S believes that P implies Q implies that S believes that P implies S believes that Q. Basically, if you know that some P implies some Q, then if you know that P, you also know that Q. Or if you believe that some P implies Q, then if you believe that P, you also believe that Q. For example, if Alistair knows that if the sky is blue, then the sun is shining, then if Alistair knows that the sky is blue, then Alistair knows that the sun is shining. Or, if Alexis believes that he is in the, if he is in the ocean, then he is in salt water, then if Alexis believes that he is in the ocean, then Alexis also believes that he is in salt water. Now, unlike some of the previous axiom Ks, which were generally pretty non-controversial, we're going to have a little bit more controversy in doxastic and epistemic logic here. It seems quite possible that even though one believes P and P implies Q, one might not believe that Q. At the very least, it seems possible that one might know P and know P implies Q and believe Q, but take something else, which happens to be false, for their justification for Q. Basically, they might know that P and know that P implies Q, but not conclude Q because of P and P implies Q, but rather conclude Q because of some other piece of evidence and completely not even notice that they both know P and P implies Q. This is, of course, going to be a problem that kind of falls in line with logical omniscience. We're going to talk about this axiom and objections to it in a future video on closure and implicit beliefs. For now, check out my videos on implicit and explicit knowledge and implicit and explicit beliefs. Hopefully those are already up. If they're not, they're coming soon. And of course, the Gettier problem, as well as Pirro and the academics for more. Up next, we're going to be moving on down the line with our modal logic axioms, looking at axiom D for doxastic and epistemic logic. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Cardades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.